before we get into the DYI video, I wanted to, you know, just share with you guys why I'm creating this. So I have really bad anxiety and I wanted a spot in my home that I could just call my own. It was not my bed because that bed is comfortable and it was not my couch because I love that as well. So I sought out to purchase a floor pillow seen a lot of them online they weren't the right shape when I finally found the right shape it wasn't the right size when I finally found the right size it just was filled with beans I didn't want a bean bag I wanted a soft fluffy cushion and not even to mention the price of these things even for the smaller ones so I came across this picture and it just sparked the creative spark within me and I was like you know what I'm gonna make my own so here we go here we are trying to cut a proper circle now let me just say that geometry and math has never been my strong point so this is the most research i basically did the whole project is how to cut a proper circle so i know that i needed to find the radius um actually use a clamp to clamp that down i didn't i did not have the proper supplies i was just winging it but i know that the radius was 23 and a half and that's why you see the dots there i know that it needed to equal that all the way across to get a proper circle so i got this cutter from michael's and i'm so happy i did um spend the, like 15 dollars for it instead of using scissors because it definitely made this project and the cutting part a lot easier um I had to speed this up because I was cutting really, really slow. I knew that I needed a perfect circle. I felt like as long as my circle was perfect, then everything else was going to fall into place. Now, because Oops is my middle name, I had to say a quick prayer to make sure that my circle turned out perfect. And off top, I am totally loving the size. So I did a great job. Yay! So now I'm about to cut my other circle because I need one for the top and one for the bottom. And I'm going to use the previous circle to cut the outline. Fun fact, this quote unquote fabric is actually a fleece blanket from Walmart. $3 each. So um, because it was that fleecy material and I was going to stuff it with, you know, the cotton polyfill, I wanted to line it with um, a sheet. And I got these sheets from Walmart as well. They were about $8 for a flat sheet and I cut it wrong. I'm happy I cut this wrong and not the bottom, the base of this um, floor pillow. But I ended up doing what I had to do and I happened it. The circles aren't perfect, but hey, I made it work. So because this is my winged project, I was doing things in the wrong order. I should have ironed the sheet first, but hey, I got it done. Did I mention to you guys that I do not have a sewing machine? So I'm gonna be basically using what I got to make what I want, which is a hot glue gun yep a hot glue gun make sure you guys have the proper supplies i burned myself several times using this hot glue gun trying to press the material together you will get burned if you don't use the proper supply so i'm prepping the last blanket to be the perimeter of the floor pillow and this one was kind of tricky um i ended up getting a really good cut at first but the thicker this part is the more i would have to stuff the pillow and i decided to go in cut it again because i wanted it to be a little slimmer the cutter wasn't working because the way i folded it the fabric was stacked on there like so thick i pulled out the scissors thought it would work i did didn't like it pull back out the um little circle circular cutter and did what i have to do i made a lot of mistakes but like i said i guess it done so now it's time to glue the perimeter part to the actual circle this is another mistake that i made i'm actually gluing the perimeter under the circle when i should have glued it over i was a little nervous that the white liner was going to show if i was to do it the other way but um, um that's another mistake that i made i would have made sure that that white circle was a little bit less maybe a half an inch 
um, inner so that if I was to glue it over that I wouldn't be, you know, frightened that you would be able to see the white part. And at this moment, I most definitely knew that I had messed up. Glue over and not under. So now I'm gluing that part to the last circle in which I'm gonna glue almost all around, but I'm gonna leave a little part open enough to fill the circle or pillow with the cotton. At this point, I was tired of burning myself. I tried to use gloves, the heat was still coming through. So I used a little piece of the cardboard from the inside of the flat sheet box and I used that. So this is the size gap that I left in the fabric so that I can stuff it with the, the fiber fill. And I got this from Michaels. I would never go there again to get this and you'll find out a little later why. But this is a 20 ounce bag. So I purchased about eight bags of this polyfill and I believe it was like $6.99 or $7.99. Either way, I wouldn't do it again. I was confused, like do I fluff this out? And would that kind of make the pillow a little bit too mushy? Should I just leave it kind of dense? I was all over the place. So about eight bags of the poly filled later, I only got half of my floor pillow filled. Oh my God, I ended up having to run out to Walmart and actually I seen a 10 pound box of poly fill and this box actually ended up filling the rest of the pillow. This was a $25 box y'all. I had enough for the pillow and also this little small thing that I hot glued together because the pillow is a circle, so there's a gap in the wall and I wanted to fill that space so pillows and stuff won't sink down. Allow me to introduce to y'all my perfectly imperfect happy corner in which I totally love. Let me know how you feel about it. Leave a comment below. This is exactly what I wanted out of the space, a space that I can disconnect from the world, call my own, no phones. Sometimes I drink tea here, I relax. I also like to journal, I make affirmations here, I make to-do lists here and just do all of that good stuff. Another thing that I like to do is meditate. It feels so much better on my knees than the floor. Or sometimes I just take a nap and trust me, it is so comfortable. And last but not least, sometimes I like to sit here in stillness where I can listen to and take note of my thoughts. So that concludes my perfectly imperfect masterpiece. If you want to see more DIY projects, please 400 thumbs up and I'll keep them coming. Have a good day and stay calm.